Welcome, friends, to another exciting lecture in your journey through the Valley of the Shadow of Statistics. Let us revisit standard deviation. In our last discussion, we laid out two terms to know. The first of those was standard deviation, which is the average distance of data from the mean. The second was the variance, and the variance is the square of the standard deviation. In examining those terms, we reviewed some pictures, we looked at some animals, some creatures to try to get a visual representation, and we want to continue that just a little bit to rehash what we discovered there. Let us revisit these concepts. The standard deviation, again, is the average distance of the data from the mean. If you, will, if you will observe here, you have a data line. This is just a value line of values. Notice this curve. This is something new. This is something that you will see a lot as you journey through statistics. Actually, this is called a bell curve. We will develop it in the next module. But what is interesting about this curve is what it says to you now. It says to you now that as you get data points, and here we have six data points we've identified, that those data points will cluster around the mean. Now, when I put mu here, you know immediately that I'm working with a population. And again, the curve says that the highest number of them are around the mean, and as we get further from the mean, we have less and less of them. Now, let's look at the distance of these data points from the mean. This data point is that far from the mean. This data point is that far. This data point is that far. This one is that far. This one is that far. And this one is that far. Now, the sum of all of these data point distances divided by the number of datum that we have, let us know what the standard deviation is, because the standard deviation is the average of these distances. Now, I want to just rehash a couple of things that we have worked so hard to obtain in the last discussions. Let's talk about symbols for population and sample. The population is a universe of interest. It includes every item of interest to us. In the population, we have the mean, which is the numerical average represented by mu. We have the standard deviation, which is the average distance of the individual datum points uh, from the mean. And then we have the variance. The variance is the standard deviation squared. These are, in fact, similar terms because they represent parallel systems and they are just different ways of looking at the same thing. We also have a sample. A sample is part of a population. The sample may be randomly selected, which means that each, uh, each element or datum in the sample will have equal chance of being selected. Now, we turn around, the sample has a mean, which we call x bar. The sample has a standard deviation, which is s and this variance of the sample, which is S squared. Now, we can use these statistics to describe the population and to describe the sample. Before long, we will take a sample and gather uh, descriptive information about the sample to infer information about the population mean and standard deviation and distribution. Now, lest you despair, I want to remind you that cows have been uh, working on statistics for a long time. Just the other day, one out behind my house said moo, and it impressed me that that cow was so deep in study. Uh, if you get lost, just find a herd of cows. They will explain moo to you. Now, again, I want to thank you very much for your support. As always, your patronage keeps my family fed. I want you to have a good day. Hang in there. You're almost on rung one of about an eight-rung ladder. Have a good one. This is the original TAMUC Dr. Dog signing off.